I will soar, I will fly, I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar, I will fly, I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar, I will fly, I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar, I will fly, I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar, I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to this beautiful place. <laughs> to this beautiful moment right here. Welcome to the Aquarian Atoms, my platform to become your spiritual server. This is your soar tarot reading for today, February 21st of 2018. How are you all doing today? Are you all having a good moment? Y'all having a beautiful day? I hope you all are radiating love. I'm in a fantastic mood, if you can already tell. <laughs> so let's see what's in store today. So the target card that we actually have is... Man, look at this. Eagles are popping up everywhere. Possibilities. Possibilities. Yes, there are infinite possibilities out there. There are so many things that one can do, that one can go for. And sometimes that kind of gives us a little bit of anxiety, right? It's like, oh my gosh, there's so much to choose for. I can do this, I can do that, I can be with this person, I can be with that person. But really it's about listening to what your heart is saying. That's really what it comes down to. But know that there are an infinite number of possibilities. And that really, there's just, there's so much to experience. And there's so much joy and bliss to be had. But we have to first realize that it is possible. We have to realize the impossible. In as an in inner. So that's really what this uh, target is about. It's about realizing that there are so many possibilities that you are possible, that whatever dream it is that you have, whatever goal that you are striving towards, it is possible to make it a reality. So let's see what the cards have to say. For the S, we have laziness, interesting, which is known as the Nine of Cups in traditional tarot. For the O, we have completion, which is pretty interesting. For, which is the world card in traditional tarot. For the A, we have control in reverse. And this is going to be the, what was it, the king of swords in traditional tarot. And then for the R, we have, oh, look at this, inner voice. Beautiful. I see how this is coming together now. Alrighty. So... I find this is kind of actually interesting because uh, some of these cards I always feel like will be in different spots, but this is kind of interesting how it's going. So this card, like I said, in traditional tarot is known as the Nine of Cups, and this deck it replaces it with laziness, um, complacency, contentment with where we are, but are we truly happy at where we are? This is what we're sensing right now. Are we truly happy with how things are? Are we truly content with where um, how things have you know, come to this point right here in this moment, perhaps we have achieved some great things, perhaps we have achieved some of our goals and stuff, but can we really rest on our laurels? This is what this is talking about. Because as you can see, this man is sitting here and uh, what he's sitting on behind him, it's, it's beginning to shatter. And this is kind of interesting because it's like, oh, I can't remember where I heard it from yesterday, but I was watching some things on YouTube. And there was this story about like how, you know, when you climb the mountain, it's almost like that mountain is made of mud. And it's like if you stay on the mountain or you try to stay on the top for too long, you begin to slide down. It's like a mudslide. You can't just stay on top of the mountain. And sometimes we climb up the mountain in our life and we achieve these certain things and we get to this certain level and we try and rest there because we want to hold on to that position. But what we'll find ourselves doing is slowly sliding down. So what you want to do is like, you know, climb the mountain, enjoy the views, enjoy that moment, but know that there are other mountains to climb. So what we're sensing right now that there are other mountains to climb. There are other challenges to be overcome. There are other experiences and successes to be had. Well, that's what we are sensing. The obstacle, 
believe it or not, is actually completion. So perhaps we have come to a completion point. Perhaps there is some project or some goal that we have completed and we have to move on to the next step. Or the obstacle actually can be is learning how to uh, heal ourselves and fill up our own cup, learning how to complete ourselves because that does take quite a bit of work and quite a bit of, it, it takes a lot of love to also do this. And a lot of people are afraid of self-love because we have been taught out of self-love. We've been taught out of this. We've been taught that we need to seek completion in other people and, and things and material stuff. But really, we have to come within ourselves and learn that we can only complete ourselves, that no one's going to do it for us, no thing is going to do it for us, no amount of money is going to do it for us. We have to learn how to fill up our own cups and how to complete ourselves. And that, that's the obstacle here, is learning when things are completed and to learn how to complete ourselves. You know, that's the obstacle. Now, the action is actually, since this is in reverse, it's actually learning to relinquish control. This is going hand in hand with yesterday, which was the whole theme of that reading was trust. So the action is actually learning to let go of trying to control every facet. If you've climbed a certain mountain and you've gotten to a certain place and you feel yourself sliding down, don't try and climb back up that same mountain. Realize that you're sliding down for a purpose. Realize that there's other places to go, other places to be, you know, other sensations to be had, other um, blessings to come your way. And that, that's actually a beautiful thing. You don't want to rest on your laurels. So sometimes, and a, lot, a lot of times, we like to try and control, but... With so many energies in Pisces right now, I mean, we have, what, the sun here, Venus, um, was it Mercury, um, yeah, the sun, Venus, Mercury, Juno, Neptune, Chiron, like, we have so much energy right now in Pisces, and it's teaching us to learn how to let go, to go with the flow, and to tap into spirit, and to know that, like, we just can't try and control everything, we just can't. And then the resolution is actually tapping into our inner voice, hearing our inner voice, and going with the flow of whatever that inner voice says. That's actually the resolution. When we learn to let go of trying to control everything, when we let go of the fear of completing ourselves or filling up our own cup. So we may live a life of integrity. So we may live a life where we are responding to the external stimuli in a more aware state, a more higher awareness state, a higher consciousness state. And that does require effort. And yeah, there are a different set, there are a different set of challenges that come to those who choose that path. But truthfully, when we learn to tap into that inner voice, when we learn to just surrender, all the possibilities just become open. Like there are infinite number of possibilities and you can kind of just take your pick at what you want to go towards. I think it's interesting how this is a sore reading and I talk about the eagle a lot and then the eagle appears right here. Probably flying around looking for its opportunity, looking for the possibilities of what it can actually get and then it's going to swoop down and capture its target. And that's really what this is about. It's really what this is about. So as a recap, the sensation that we are feeling is that we might be resting on our laurels. We might have come to a spot where we've been resting on a way that we have been a lifestyle and it's time and it's beginning to shatter. All right. The reality of that paradigm is beginning to shatter and we can no longer rest on this state of being, this, this way of being, this lifestyle. The obstacle is actually completing ourselves. The obstacle is actually looking at ourselves in the mirror and realize that we are a bunch of different pieces to this puzzle and learning how this puzzle of us works because it is kind of puzzling, right? Life, humanity, all this stuff, like the body, the way it's put together and we don't have to consciously think about our heart pumping blood throughout the body. It just does it for us, which is a beautiful blessing Thank you. Thank you, heart. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you, 
like thank you for all of these beautiful organs that do what they do without me having to consciously think about it. So yeah, it is puzzling being human. It's puzzling being in this life, but the obstacle is appreciating it and learning our part and doing our part to complete ourselves, to fill up our own cup. The action is learning when to let go of control, learning what we can control and learning what we don't control. There are certain facets that we do control. We can control um, if there is a certain, you know, if there are certain physical things that you want to do, like if you want to eat healthier or be more fit, there th those, th those are things that you can control. You know, if you feel like it's time to leave a job that doesn't sue you, there you can control that. But you're probably, there's this fear of wondering like, what's going to happen on the other side of make, making this decision. I, I want to know. I want to be able to control the outcome, but you can't. So you have to let go and just trust, right? And the resolution is your inner voice will be right. <laughs> your inner voice will confirm what your heart really wants. And once you come out to the other side, you will experience that bliss and that joy. And you'll see the infinite possibilities that are available to you. So I trust and believe and hope that this reading helps and assists you on this day in whatever way possible. Know that you are able, know that you are beautiful, know that you are creative, divine, and energetic. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me on this reading. And of course, remember to keep moving forward. Stay focused, Stan. Yahoo! -hoo! Smile often. <laughs>